Hello everyone, this video is the presentation of solution to example 3 on fundamentals of fluid flow. Here's the problem, a liquid of specific gravity 2.0 is flowing in a 50 mm diameter pipe. The total energy at a given point is found to be 7.5 meters, originally newton meter per newton. The elevation of the pipe above the datum is 3 meters and the pressure in the pipe is 65.5 kilopascals. Compute the mean velocity of flow, the volume flow rate in liters per second, the horsepower in the stream at that point. If the end of this pipe is projected into the free atmosphere at the same level as the given point, find the power in watts available at the end of pipe. So this is the situation. So since the total energy at A is based on the datum as mentioned here, then total energy at A is equated to velocity head plus pressure head 7.5 plus elevation head. So substitute 7.5 equals V sub A squared over 2 times 9.31 pressure 65.5 over specific weight which is 2 times specific gravity times specific weight of water then plus 3. From here we can compute mean velocity of flow at A 4.774 meters per second. The volume flow rate is simply Q area times mean velocity. So pi area times V. Pi over 4 times 0 0.05 diameter square times 4.774 times 1000 to convert it to liters per second. So the volume flow rate is 9.374 liters per second or the discharge. The horsepower in the stream at that point, so power, horsepower at A is Q gamma times energy, where the energy at A as mentioned is 7.5 meters. So horsepower at A is quantity 0 0.009374 times 2 times 9,810 newtons per cubic meter times 7.5 meters divided by 746 the numerator is in watts, so divided by 746 watts per horsepower. So horsepower at A is 1.849. And finally, if the end of this pipe is projected into the free atmosphere at B, then the only energy available at B is the velocity head at B. Because it is dependent on the velocity only not na, not the datum anymore because we are talking here of the uh, power in watts available at the end of that pipe so the energy available at b is only the velocity head so it is q gamma times velocity head at b where the velocity at B is, mean velocity of flow at B is the same as that at A because the pipe has the same diameter. So quantity 0 0.009374 times 2 times 9810 times 4.774 square over 2G. So in watts it is 213.6 watts. So that's all.